Good morning and welcome. Um, my name's Lynn uh, from Craft with Bella Jane and this morning I thought we'd have a bit of a change and um, try to make the tags from Friday Freebie number 74 from G. Kerr Happiness in Crafting and um, to be honest this is just a little exercise in making a short video for me. And um, as you know, I'm pretty new to YouTube and I thought this would be a nice idea um, just to have a go and uh, just make this short video. Um, I've cut out all the tags in readiness. I printed them out and um, the first ones I printed out, unfortunately, I um, I actually printed them out portrait, so um, they were very small and um, not really suitable for for this. But I'm sure I'll be able to use them in um, something else. And I have actually resisted making an autumn journal. Um, no particular reason. I I, um, I don't have anybody to give it to and uh, I think it's a bit late for me to sell it now in my uh, Etsy shop. So I've been concentrating on other things and uh, having a great time to be honest. And occasionally I've turned on the, uh, on the camera and, um, and made some short videos. Again, as I said, I'm pretty new to this and uh, managed to make uh, a video yesterday morning. And uh, when I came to check it, uh, I'd got the first two minutes, I think. And for some reason, it had uh, turned itself off and I'd been wittering away to nobody but myself and Jess the dog. So that was a bit of a waste of time. And to be honest, it put me into a bit of a, a misery mood. So um, I went for a walk instead of uh, having another video. So I thought I'd just do something really simple this morning and uh, hope for the best. Hope that uh, we're recording and that you can actually uh, see and hear me. And uh, you might be able to actually hear somebody mowing the grass outside as well because just had a whopping great fly buzzing around and I thought I have to get rid of that before I start. Otherwise, that's going to be um, buzzing around in my video. But, you know, you it's all swings and roundabouts, isn't it? So one minute you've got rid of the bee and the next minute you've got the lawnmower which sounds like an angry wasp in, it, in actual fact anyway so here we are um oh here we go here's another wasp coming in oh, something anyway um oh, there we are i've opened the window so hopefully he'll go out um yeah so uh I've got about four four videos up now on YouTube, so I really am a newbie, but um, I've had a few views and um, I've had a few views in my Etsy shop, so I'm feeling quite positive about my, uh, my whole experience really and um, you know, I'm, I'm not up to uh, 35,000 yet. <laughs> I'm sure that'll probably, if it ever happens, take me a few years, but there we are. Um, it's just a hobby for me, really. Now I've retired from uh, teaching and I thought, how can I teach without actually uh, going out into school or into um, a nursing home and, um, 
and I thought, well, why not give YouTube a go? So there we are. So here's all our bits now. And um, I've got this lovely um, satin ribbon. And I did buy a few bits with the, uh, the thought of pumpkins and um, autumn and things. But uh, I didn't actually make a start on them. So this is an ideal opportunity to um to use them today so we'll just oh dear now we've got the dog barking it's all go here isn't it um i think it's probably once again the post lady um and uh, that's why she's barking because i can actually hear next door's dogs barking as well so we'll just have a small bead of glue around the outside and um i have actually ordered uh, some of those tiny bottles that you um, you put your glue in and they've got the little metal um, the metal tips so that you could just get a really tiny bead of glue around the outside um, so I think that'll be useful and because um, I've been trying not to use as much glue because from what I can gather I mean I've always used PVA glue and Pritt stick when I've been uh, in schools or working with adults and uh, it's always worked fine but it hasn't needed to be you know one of these projects that is a permanent uh, permanent thing so um, I've tried to buy uh, tacky glue I've tried to buy a good make and um, yeah so I'm not sure uh, how it's going to work but everybody else seems to um, seems to be able to uh, manage now I need that to be higher up don't I because I've got to get these words in at the bottom there so I maybe need it even higher tiny tiny bit higher up to there even I think maybe there we are So we're all, it's a learning experience, isn't it, really? Um, there's no experts, I don't suppose. I'm certainly not an expert. I'm very new to YouTube and I'm very new to um, junk journaling, to be honest. I mean, I have made books in the past, um, but not, um, not since it's become a popular hobby. And not since we've had YouTube. I seem to remember making a book in university that had um, a, uh, a cloth cover. And we made that out of scraps that the lady brought along for us to use. And uh, yeah, because I was doing um, textiles when I was in uni and art and design. So, well, that's the first one. There we are. So let's do the next one. Now let's think about this before we go any further. Uh, I think that one's going on there. And we didn't have the actual words that um, G used today, uh, but I do have some of her printed words. So that's what these are. There we are, that will go all right on there. So, um, so, yeah, so oh, I loved making that book at uni. And um, we also on the same on this in the same um, session, probably not on the same day, but but it was a project that we were we were doing and um, we had to do um, free embroidery as well. Um, so I actually did that on the cover and uh, oh, it was great fun. I've still got it somewhere. Um, not sure where, you know, I've got boxes of all sorts of stuff, really. I did actually get rid of all my uni stuff at one point. And, and then I think, oh, I wish I hadn't got rid of all of those pictures and all of those things I made. But, you know, you move on in life, don't you? And um, decide to uh, get rid of things and then wish you hadn't done but you know probably wouldn't be able to find it anyway whatever it is I wanted I'll be thinking oh yeah I probably threw it away yeah, it's probably in a box somewhere 
but I have tried, I do try. Um, now I've started this craft area upstairs, but I do try not to hold. Um, right, I've just got a bit of cloth out of the bin. Um, yeah, I do try not to hold. I'm much, much better at, than I used to be at um, actually parting with uh, things these days. <laughs> And I used to keep every scrap of paper that was in existence. Um, but I don't do that anymore. I notice there's a little mark on there. Whether that's my printer hasn't printed properly, I don't know. But I've got some um, coloured pencils, which I'll uh, probably just... Oh, excuse my head. I'll probably just pop that... Uh, pop a... Uh, little bit of coloured pencil on top of that and it'll be absolutely fine um yeah so the other thing that's happened to me actually is I ordered a punch um and the eyelet you know the eyelet punches um I decided not to get a crocodile because I wasn't um feeling that I could afford one at the moment so um yeah so I ordered just a basic um eyelet punch from eBay um, because I've gone right off Amazon because of their insistence on taking money out of my account for Amazon Prime which I never asked for and I never wanted and they were taking money out of my account for it and I was I got fed up of telling them not to and them just ignoring me so they've gone by the board now I don't use them at all um, which is, to be honest, a bit of a pain sometimes because everything is so easy to get from Amazon. But I've been using eBay and it's been very successful. And um, up until this one. And uh, I've been waiting for over a month now for these... Um, for these... Uh... Sorry, don't just just lifted for these um what do they call them what do you call them eyelet punches yes so it was an eyelet punch that punched the hole and um and then also punched the um the little eyelets and you got a box of um a box of uh mixed eyelets as well so i was really looking forward to that and of course it hasn't come so now i'm having to put in a uh, a queer well i've already done it put in a query to the ebay admin and i've got to wait until tomorrow which is the ninth um i've got to wait until tomorrow to um for them to actually do anything about it well they have i've contacted the seller and they've contacted the seller and he hasn't bothered to or he he or she hasn't bothered to reply so we're just uh, playing the waiting game at the moment right so um yeah so there we are we've made those um and uh next thing to do is to put the little tags at the top but i think they're absolutely lovely and um, thank you very much chico for um giving us that freebie today and i've really enjoyed those and i will try and um and make a little journal to put them in okay so there they are finished i've um obviously i've uh, not had my eyelet punch as i've just explained so um i used my um awl and uh and made a hole in the top with that and then I used the, um, the satin type ribbon. I cut it in half and uh, I put that in the top of them. And they look absolutely lovely. And uh, thank you, G. And thank you all for watching. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.